Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is sort an array. So in this question, we are given an array called nums and we need to sort the array in ascending order and return it. Coming to the function they have given us, this is the function name and this is the input array we have to work on and we have to return an integer array. There are many types of sorts to begin with, bubble sort, insertion sort and selection sort. But their time complexity goes to O of big O of n square. For this program, I'm going to show you how to do the counting sort. So counting sort basically uses a hash map to store the frequencies of each element inside the input array. And then we need to find the min and max element from the input array and run a for loop from min until max. And then we have to access the elements from the map we created according to its frequency and print it. So let me show you how the problem is solved. So in counting sort, we have to first create a hash map to store the frequencies so for this example the hash map is going to look like this so the key and values are going to be integers so the keys are going to be the array elements 5 2 3 and 1 and the frequencies are going to be its frequencies like how many times each element is appearing inside the input array and for this example it is going to be so let's take this example and see how this is going to be solved so this is the input array nums we are going to solve and the indexes are written in blue so it will start from 0 to 5 and this is the map for that input array first we need to find out the minimum and max element from the input array we iterate through the input array from left to right and we find out the values inside the map and we also find out the min and max element in the same iteration so once you solve this the min element is going to be 0 and the max element is going to be 5 now we cannot assign a new array to display the output we have to do it in place inside the input array itself so we also need a index called index variable which is initially pointing at 0 so index is here now we iterate for loop will run from min to max so min to max and in each iteration i will increment by 1 and these are the elements inside the input array so we take the element 0 and check its frequency frequency of 0 is equal to 2 which means 0 should appear 2 times inside the array so first we take the element 0 and replace 5 with 0 and next iteration index will be pointing here and the value of 0 will be decremented by 1 and now 0 is having the count of 1 so once you access an element it will be printed until the value becomes 0 now it is 1 right so again we have to add another 0 inside the output so this will be replaced by 0 decrement its count by 0 so 0 is now having count 0 so we move on to the next element i plus plus so i was 0 now it is 1 now we check if 1 is present inside the map yes 1 is present and its frequency is 2 now index is pointing here so frequency of 1 is 2 so again we need to print 1 inside the output array 2 times so first iteration 1 will be printed here and its count is updated to 1 inside the map and index is pushed forward and again 1 is inserted in and its frequency is decremented to 0 and now we can proceed to the next element incrementing i so i is now 2 so we check for 2 inside the map yes 2 is present and its frequency is equal to 1 push index forward so index is now pointing here and we need to replace that element with the current element 2 inside the map which is having frequency 1 and we decrement its frequency by 1 and it becomes 0 and we move on to the next element but i is equal to 3 it is not present inside the map so we increment i i is equal to 4 it is not present inside the map we increment i is equal to 5 which is max so this is the last element to be added inside the map uh, so we increment index so index is now pointing here and the frequency of 5 is 1 so add it inside the array and decrement its frequency by 1 and becomes 0 and we reach the end of the iteration the for loop will run from min to max right with i plus plus and we reach 5 the next iteration the for loop will break and we come outside the for loop and we can finally return our result which is present inside the input array nums so nums will be returned as the output and this is the output for our question now that we have seen the working let us code it up as i have said first we need a hash map to store the frequencies so the key and value are going to be integers. 
now let us assign two variables minimum and maximum so let's assign those two elements to be pointing at the first element so you can assign min as the first element inside the array nums so int min equal to nums of zero and also max will also be the first element because if there is no other element and the size of the input array is one so the first element the only element present inside that array will be the minimum and maximum right so here the constraint is that the input array starts from length equal to one so we can assign the first element as min and max and then we can compute all the elements and find out the min and max element at the end of the array so let's iterate through the input array from start to end now we need to add elements inside the map right so first i'm going to check if that element is present as key inside the map so map dot contains key of nums of i so if that element is already present inside the map we need to increase its frequency by one so map dot put nums of i and frequency map dot get of nums of i we are getting its current frequency and increasing it with one each time we see it and in the else block so this else block will be executed for every unique element so if that element is not present inside the map as key we need to put that element as map inside key so map dot put of nums of i and set its frequency to one and from the next time whenever it is present inside the map this statement will be executed and its frequency will be incremented now in this for loop only we can find the minimum and maximum element so if the current element nums of i is less than the current min we need to assign min as the current element nums of i and now we can also find out if it is the maximum element by checking if the current element nums of i is greater than the current max we can assign max as the current element so this is a one block and this is one block and this is one block all this is happening inside one iteration of the input array from start to end so for this example here this for loop will run for five times zero to four whenever the i value equal to four the for loop will break and come out of it now we have the min element and max element of the input array stored inside these variables so let us run a for loop from int i equal to min until i is equal to max because max is also present inside the array so we need to run until i is equal, less than or equal to max now we cannot create another array we need to store the output array inside the input array itself for that let us use the index and assign it to zero now i is equal to the least element in this example min is equal to zero and max is equal to five so i is equal to min so i is equal to zero now we need to get the frequency of zero because zero appears twice inside the array we need to get its frequency and print the two zeros at once in the beginning of the array here as you can see two zeros are printed at the beginning so for that let's check if the frequency of element at i is less than zero so until then we can print it for that we can use a while loop so while app dot we can use the get or default method so get or default has two uh, parameters the first parameter i is for this so get of i will get the frequency of i if that element is not present print zero as the output is greater than zero so until then this while loop will run we get the frequency of zero which is two this while loop will run for three times and on the third time when i will become zero this while loop will break now we need to print zero two times inside the output array but we haven't declared the output array because we need to print the sort the elements in place so nums of index so index is now pointing at zero and we need to print the two zeros from here so these two elements will be replaced by zeros is equal to i which is currently zero and then we need to increment the index for the next iteration first we have printed zero now index plus plus means index is one so here again we print zero each time we print a zero we need to decrease its uh, frequency inside the map by one so we need to replace its frequency by decreasing it by one so map dot put of zero is i and map dot get of i 
the current frequency and decrease it by one so in the third iteration first two times these two zeros will be printed and in the third iteration the value of the key zero is equal to zero so it comes out of the while loop so two zeros are, pre are printed now i is equal to one because i plus plus so min was zero now it is one so it will access these two elements from the map and print it two more times using this while loop and next i is equal to two it will access two and print it inside the array next i is equal to three uh, three is not present inside the input because here map dot get of three uh, using or default the default value are used when that element is not present so zero will be returned here zero is greater than zero so it won't enter this loop i plus plus i is equal to four four is not present again zero will be returned here and it won't enter next i is equal to five yes five is present it will be printed here because index value is now pointing here so five will be printed and we reach the end of the program and finally outside the for loop you can return the input array nums now let's run the code let's submit the code there you have it a solution has been accepted so the time complexity of this approach is o of n plus k where n is the number of elements inside the nums array and k is the range between min and max because here we are using a for loop which will run from i equal to min till max and the space complexity is also o of n because we are using a map to store the frequency of the array elements thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one